Hey there Dev Squad, Vertus here and welcome back to my Blender 3D modeling tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be introducing you to the subdivision surface modifier, allowing you to easily add and remove polygons from your objects within your scene. Now this is going to make up a really important part of the modeling process, so it's really important that you figure out how it is used. Now rather than me explaining exactly what it is now, we're going to dive straight into it, learn how we can use the modifier, and by the end of this video, you are going to be able to see just how important it is and how you can use it as part of your modeling workflow. So the subdivision modifier is a modifier just like any other. So having said that, you need to head over to the modifiers tab to add this into your object. Now to use a modifier, you have to have an object selected. So just grab your cube in the middle here and just right click it to select this. And then on the right hand side, once you're in the modifiers tab, if you're not already, just click this little spanner icon in the top right here and then add a modifier and add the subdivision surface modifier. Now what you'll notice is as soon as you do that, it is going to distort your shape a little bit. And the reason for this is that it has added in a couple of extra polygons. So before there would have been six because it was a cube, but it's actually added more. And as I turn up the number of subdivisions, you can see it is adding more and more of these little polygons. And there's two ways that we can do this. The first one is using Catmull Clark. And what this is going to do is it's going to add polygons and it's also going to add smoothing in the way that it does it. And by doing this, you are more than likely going to distort the shape. I mean, from before you had a cube and now what we've ended up going and adding is because we've added smoothing and polygons at the same time, it sort of looks uh, a bit more like a sphere. Whereas if we were to switch over to single, uh, sorry, if we, if we were to switch over to simple and turn up the number of subdivisions, you can see it is not going to distort the shape, but it is adding those surfaces. And the best way to see this is to go into your wireframe mode. To go into your wireframe mode, press Z on the keyboard. And you can see now, as I turn this up and down, you can see we have got more faces on this. So if I turn it down to one, it's relatively simple here. So zero, zero is the original shape. One is a little bit more complex, two is getting there, but the important thing that you need to know is that simple will not distort the shape, it's just going to add those faces in between the existing shapes. Whereas Catmull Clark starts off at zero at the original shape, add one, and it's just going to add those surfaces but it's going to try and smooth it, and sometimes that is not necessarily always the result that you're looking for. Now what you'll notice that you've got here is down here you have got view and render and these are both subdivisions. Now generally you're going to be changing the view subdivisions. Now the difference between the two of these, the view is within your viewport. So this is what you're going to be seeing normally. What you can also do is have a more complex version for your render, but you're not going to be able to see this straight away. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I set my view down to zero and my render to two. If we press F12 to do a quick render, you will notice it has become a little bit more smoother. It's got those extra subdivisions in there. And the main point being is that you're only able to see that in a render. So what you might want to do is within your viewport to help you with performance, you might want to have this lower, but then the actual render, turn that up and have those extra subdivisions in there. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about subdivision surfaces. What you should be able to do now is add those extra surfaces and obviously from there, you can go and modify them as well. What I am gonna do is quickly show you a couple of keyboard shortcuts to make using the subdivision surface multiplier a little bit easier. Now, there's only really one that you need to know about. And what that is, is if you can press control on your keyboard and then the numbers on the keyboard row to change the number of viewport subdivisions. So if I was to press 
uh, control and then one, it is going to set our keep our subdivisions for the viewport to one. Press control and two, it's going to change it to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And as I press those buttons and add them all up, it is going to change that number for us. So having said that, you don't have to have the modifier active. Just press control one, two, three, four, and five, and it is going to add those extra subdivisions for you. So that is gonna save you a little bit of time. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you for subdivision surfaces. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.